Africa and indeed Nigeria need to be fully or fully involved the year to constitute the most cohesive component of the society into the task of national development. This is more so as there is an urgency to put a time frame in place to harness the energy of the youth into transforming the continent. This charge came up on the sidelines of an event by the ECOWAS Youth Council to commemorate leadership in Africa and celebrate societal development. Educationist and youth advocate Fumilayo Wahid Adikoju, while receiving the Nelson Mandela Leadership Award for Residents, urges the federal government to carry the young people along in the decision making process in the country. As we develop within a democratic setting in Africa, it is important that the youth who constitute the most coercive and articulate component in the African society should be fully involved in the tax of societal development and consolidation of the achievement that is being recorded in our educational sector. The youth are the most active and vital force in the society. They are the most eager to learn and the least conservative in their thinking. It is therefore of this utmost urgency that a framework be put in place to harness and bring into full play the energy of our youth in the tax of transforming our continent into a true, truly developing one. The first thing we have to do is to orientate our youth. Like, when you give them knowledge, for them to know who they are, what they can do to believe in themselves, I think that's the beginning of the journey. I try as much as possible to so we can educate them, especially our girl child, to see how they can know that they don't belong to any other place and they accept to be at the front. Then to Nigerians as a whole, it's just to see how we can make this opportunity of equals to see if our government will embrace this, to push forward, to do more for our people in our society. Push it down, down even to the down to the local level, to bring out the best of the best of this Nigerian youth. On the state of education in Nigeria, the educationist says all hands must be on deck to ensure no child is left behind as they are the future of every nation. There is no child that wants to leave school if the child is properly taken care of. No child wants to stay out of school if the first child finds care and love. We will try as much as possible to encourage our parents to give love to these children. Government cannot do it all. Even if, we decree, if government decree free education today, if the kids don't get love from their parents, and how can the parents love the child when the parents don't even know what it takes to take care of the child? So we have to start from the beginning, from the roots. Parents will get back to the kids. We, 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 we have to put, impart them with the knowledge of responsibility of what they have to the parents, to the kids. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.